What did you do? What did you put in my hair? My gorgeous hair! Oh my god, that was a little bit too high pitch. I'm a little sorry for that. <laughs> is, it, is it glass fine on the other end? A little bit of a crack? I'm Oof, I'm so sorry. Have you ever went to go get your hair done? And then after you got your hair done, was like, what the hell is this? Why does it look like my hairstylist is still in school and she just messed up on my hair? <laughs> Imagine you've been waiting for your hair appointment all week and you finally get there. Doing your hair, you hear the hairstylist say, oop. <laughs> Best believe I'm about to get up and walk out of that studio as soon as I can. That is exactly what happened to this girl on TikTok. Let's watch to see how she dealt with this situation because let me tell you, if this shoe was on the other foot, if this was me, oh, all hell would have broke loose. I would have became super Karen because the one thing I'm going to be caring about is my hair. I don't know if you see these curls that I was blessed with. Don't try to say I have a perm because I don't have a perm. That was one of the most disrespectful things I've been asked. Hey, Jordan. Oh, how'd you get your hair like that? Uh, like, what do you mean? This is just my hair. No, like, what kind of perm did you get? Perm? Perm? I'm sorry, I'm not looking like you with the little squiggly loose curls that you have that you can clearly tell is a perm because you're not taking care of it. Girl, I wake up like this. And what? But we have this girl on TikTok who went to go get her hair done. She wanted to get the color purple and pink like mixed together. Let's just say that her hair started falling out. So let's get into this one. First, I'm going to show you the very first video that went viral on TikTok where she comes out and she's talking about <laughs> her hair. Your stylist completely ruined my hair. Yes, I did pay for this. Yes, I've also been crying for the past hour because I noticed that actually in the back, it has all fallen out. <laughs> this is why I'm crying, by the way. I just noticed that I can no longer put my hair in a ponytail. The video I made was never to put anyone on blast. There was a reason why. So did you see that? Like, I don't know if you guys saw the rat tail on the back of her hair, but that's a style for soccer players, not for a girl like her. She walked into that hair salon with a full head of hair. She walked out with a rat tail. Let's see what's going on next. I didn't mention the hair salon, the name of the people, their faces, nothing, because I didn't want them to have any bad pub publicity. But after seeing the state of my hair and coming home and feeling how brittle it is, I'm actually afraid that it's gonna fall out while I'm sleeping. I don't know if there's anything left I can do to save my hair, I think. Oh hell, I can't. <laughs> I cannot imagine feeling the way that this girl does. Like, your hair is so personal to your identity. It's a vital piece of you that kind of makes you you. It's literally what people change to express themselves. So the fact that she's feeling this way about her hair, I can see how it's changing her day-to-day -day life. Maybe there's, I don't know, I'm trying to stay positive. It wouldn't have been so bad if she had apologized and tried to fix it, but she charged me full price and she belittled me in front of everyone and she made me feel like everything was my fault and that I was the reason why my hair was breaking. So she was charged full price, belittled in front of the customers, and the stylist made it seem like it was her fault why her own hair was falling out. Okay. Uh, uh, delusional. Very delusional because if that was me, I'm like, my hair wasn't falling out before I came in here. That wasn't my fault. What did you do? What did you put in my hair? My gorgeous hair! Oh my god, that was a little bit too high pitch. I'm a little sorry for that. <laughs> is, it, is it glass fine on the other end? A little bit of a crack? I'm Oof, I'm so sorry. Um, it's very emotional for me right now to talk about this and uh, seeing the state of my hair. My hair is four different colors. I would love to just go back to what I was before she dyed it, but I know this is no longer possible and that if I keep touching my hair, it will fall out. So I guess I'm just stuck with this color for the time being. For everyone saying that I should get a refund, I now completely agree with you. After seeing the breakage in the back of my head, it's no longer just a color issue, but this is 
a hair integrity issue, I will be taking this to the salon. I will be demanding a full refund and I don't actually know if I want them to fix this because I don't know if I can trust them to fix this if they're capable of fixing it. But I definitely want a refund and I am so incredibly upset that she knew my hair was breaking, that she broke my hair and she still let me walk out of the salon like that. I can't believe either that this stylist had the nerve to let her walk out without acknowledging that her hair looked like that, that she did anything wrong and still made her pay full price. Once I saw that, when I got home, best believe they would have got some angry texts and then I would have pulled up on that business and acted like the super Karen that we all know people can be. Personally, I haven't been one yet, but we all know it just takes the right situation, okay? Well, let's see how she handled it. She did say that she's gonna go get her money back. So let's see if she actually did. Viral for a hair salon chemically burning off the back layer of my hair. I received thousands of comments of people telling me to get a refund. I did go to the salon today and I spoke to the woman that did my hair yesterday. Unfortunately, she was not willing to give me a refund mainly because she said I paid by card and she couldn't refund me. Oh no, <laughs> I'm like, girl, bring out the cash register. You can give me cash. That just seems like the worst excuse in the book. And that just reminds me of people who have managed me in the past when they come up with the any little excuse, little white lie that they can think of well that sounds like one of those little white lies let me tell you said that she would give me weekly treatments for the next month for the people telling me that it's my fault and that like this happens when you bleach hair i get that i'm actually not as upset that my hair is completely ruined although it is terrible i'm more upset that a salon had me pay full price for hair that they knew they botched they did not tell me that they had destroyed the back of my hair. People asked as well, why did they not do a test strand? I did bring this up to them today and they said that if they did a test strand on every single client that walked in, that everyone would lose a ton of time. I told them that I would rather lose my time than lose all of my hair because now this is something that is just completely irreparable. That is another excuse that I would not even take. You're gonna tell me, oh, we don't do test strands because it's gonna take too much time and Da, 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 da. Well, what about your due diligence as a business owner and making sure that your customer's happy and make sure they walk out with the full head of hair? Because clearly, y'all don't care about their hair. But this is a hair salon, so how is that the case? How are you going to say and give someone an excuse like that and you're a hair salon? You are lucky she is so nice and she doesn't want to put y'all on blast, but let's be real, the internet does what the internet does and People already found it. I'm not going to be the one to put it out there, but it's out there. I'm trying to keep it together. I did email their corporate as well to see what I can do. But um, even though they're willing to give me weekly treatments, what hurts me the most is that they're still blaming me for not disclosing well my hair history, even though I had told them that I had had black hair at one point in my life. Nothing bothers me more than a stylist that cannot at least own up to their mistakes. And that's literally all I wanted from her. I, I said, I don't even worry about the refund. Just apologize to me and let's fix this. I won't be putting the salon on blast because I do think it is a very petty move of my part if they are at least willing to try to fix my hair. I do want corporate to come back to me though and issue me some kind of apology because I feel like an apology is very important when I now have to live with my hair looking like literally some kind of female Danny Phantom. <laughs> oh, first, female Danny Phantom. I used to love Danny Phantom as a kid. Hey, you just got a follower right here just because of that. She says all that she wants is an apology. And that's real classy of her because I wouldn't want an apology. I want a PSA, public service announcement. I want you putting this on your website. This is what we did to this girl and we are sorry. With pictures of the before, and the after because this girl also did film the process of when this was happening which just in my opinion makes this even worse for the salon she filmed herself getting these botched hair treatments so she has receipts hair and somehow i ended up getting this ghostly purple which i'm not mad about i'm more just mad about the fact that literally all my hair in the back is gone the day of the service yesterday i kept asking her is my hair okay is my hair okay because i had this like intuition that something wasn't going to go right. I almost even wanted to cancel my appointment and she told me everything was fine. And then when I found out at home that all my hair was broken and I went back to her today to ask why she didn't bring this up to me yesterday, she said that she noticed there was a little bit of breakage in the back. I was like, girl, a little bit of breakage. Like this, that's insane. That's absolutely crazy. A little bit of breakage. A little, just a little bit. Just a a little bit of breakage. No, that's a lot of breakage. Oh my God. The fact that she was asking about her hair during the service and during the process and the girl was saying, no, it's fine.
does not sit well with me. I, oh my God. Very much scare me that there are slongs that do not own up to their mistakes. Even though they're willing to correct it, it was more of just to avoid some kind of scandal than to actually like, than actually caring about my feelings. Well, the scandal's here, babes. <laughs> The scandal's here, and you know what? The girls did what the girls do. And at the end of the day, I think there's gonna be a resolution for her. Saying that they also ruined my bangs, like, y'all, I'm gonna touch your hand when I say this. That one's on me. I uh, I did that myself. I prefer micro bangs. It's just that she styled them terribly and made them look really bad. I'm dead. Look at that, though. The salon can take some notes from her right there. She took accountability for her mistakes of the micro bangs. But then she did, you know, just highlight the fact that the hairstylist wasn't really that good because she messed up the bangs even worse than they already were. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Literally forgot to blend this. I'm so freaked out. I think I fed my dog dinner twice last night because I just literally could not function. I'm like literally a complete mess today. And it's just crazy. She doesn't even know she thinks. She can't even remember if she fed her dog twice. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm living for this story right now. Said that yesterday ruined her day. I was like, girl, yesterday ruined my life. Like, do you see my hair? Like, for you, it's one day. For me, this is every day now. Well, she got the point. Oh, it ruined your day? Well, it ruined my life. I can't imagine if I went to a hair salon and my hair came out like that or any version or resemblance of that, I would be dying. You expect me? to go to work yeah no i'm not going to work you expect me to go do anything in public yeah you're tripping so whose life is really more affected by this your one bad day or the the new life that i'm going to be living with this oompa loompa hair that's what i thought i guess that's life it's funny because i wanted to go viral for my hair i wanted to have some really cool colored hair that i could like do a cool transition and go viral for and i did go viral for my hair just for exactly the wrong reasons period period you went viral hey, hey, hey. you made your goal you still went viral congratulations i'm sorry that your hair looks like that but Let's see what you've turned this into, babes. We're all trying to go viral these ones, all right? Today I got my hair done by a stylist that completely burned off the bottom half of my hair and did not tell me and made me painful. And when I got home, that's when I realized that there was a back layer of my hair that was missing. Multiple times throughout the process, I asked her if my hair was still in good health because I was very worried. And she assured me that she could do her job and that everything was going to be okay. She said that somewhere during the drying process, my hair started to fall out and she did not tell me because she felt that that just wasn't necessary. Oh, hell no! Oh no! If it starts to fall off, you better tell me that very second because that's that's when I'm leaving. How are you gonna tell someone it's not necessary? I think it's very necessary if... <laughs> I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so, so sorry. I really don't know. I went in today and I requested a refund and she said no, but that she would try her best to fix it. Her and the other stylists all blamed me and said that this was my fault because I had very difficult hair and that I did not disclose that six months ago I had dyed my hair black at a salon, which I had definitely disclosed. She told me she doesn't like to perform test strands because it takes too long to do and that it would be a waste of everyone's time. Because of her, I now have to wear my hair in a t-shirt when I sleep so the rest doesn't break off and I did find another stylist that is willing to work with me that I trust and has amazing reviews on colored hair. When I told Period. My Period. Look, she found someone who can work on her train wreck of her hair. Let's just see how this turns out for her. I hope it works out. I'm just so happy that she found another stylist that will be able to help her with her hair that got good reviews because I wouldn't be going back for treatments to that same hair salon if they literally had my hair falling out. That's a no, babes. It's, I don't need the treatment. She's giving me the refund and maybe a little bit more for emotional damages. Silas that I would no longer be going to her for my treatments and that I demanded a full refund. She said to me that no one would ever be able to fix my hair and that it was irreparable. I do not know why you would offer to fix my hair if you don't even believe in me or my hair. None of this makes sense. I am beyond words at this point. I really think that this woman should not be working as a stylist, but that is just my opinion. I think a lot of people are going to be agreeing with your opinion. How are you going to say you're going to help fix her hair, but then say that her hair can't be fit? Again, make it make sense. Oh, so now we have the TikTok of this girl getting her hair fixed from this other salon. It's called One Dream Paris. Thank you so much at One Dream Paris. Let's see how this turned 
Oh. Days ago, I went to a salon that completely botched my hair and burned off the bottom half chemically. I have never in my life seen my hair in such a bad state, and I received thousands of comments online of people telling me that I would need to shave my entire head. Not only was the back chemically burned off, but my entire hair was four different colors and extremely straw-like. I could not even brush my hair without being in fear that it would come off in clumps. Luckily, I found a stylist that believed in my hair and wanted to help me. I did not come into this appointment with high hopes just because of the integrity of my hair. We had already talked about maybe having to have it cut. But first she wanted to try to see if she could save it. She tried her best to neutralize the violet in my hair to bring it to the color that I had originally wanted as well as perform hair care treatments to improve the integrity of my hair. I don't know how she did it but she managed to blend my roots seamlessly and get me to one uniform color. This is when I started to have a little bit of hope as she was drying my hair I just saw such an improvement in the texture and the quality. These past few days have been extremely emotional for me because I've had to wear a hat wherever I go and I've had people point at me and laugh on the streets. Because of how matted and knotted my hair was, I truly thought that I would be losing all of my hair today, but miraculously it was able to be saved. Looking at myself in the mirror, I was in a state of shock that she was able to bring my hair to this color, uniform, healthy, bouncy. This is what my hair looked like, by the way, when I walked in, I was so completely broken. To see my hair transform into this actually makes me a little bit emotional. I was- There is a clear difference between those two pictures and the second picture you look so much more healthy that first picture wow if my hair ever looked like that it's sad i'm gonna cry like damn i'm literally speechless i don't even know what i could say in that moment this TikTok will be her last update on this whole drama. Honestly, she handled it really well. She never even mentioned the other salon's name. But again, like I said, the internet does what they do and they're of course gonna find it. Let's just hear this last update. Things a few days ago, I went incredibly viral on TikTok for posting this video of me getting my hair done at a salon. Although my hair was very poorly handled and I believe there was negligence on the part of a salon, I never in any way, shape or form intended for this company to be put on blast, nor the salon, nor any of the stylists. There is a reason why I did not disclose any information. The content I created was to share my journey of me repairing my hair. It was not to target anyone or make anyone feel unsafe. Because now many stylists at the salon feel unsafe, I do feel a, a social obligation to come on here and let everyone know that the situation has been handled. The director has reached out to me, issued me a full refund, a month of hair care treatments, and free products. You could take them free hair products and shove them because I don't want them. Also, that's the only part that sucks about situations like these and things that go viral on TikTok like this and then the salons or certain people getting hate. While a lot of it and sometimes and most of the time it's actually warranted in these specific situations, these businesses always make these customers happy after they blow up on TikTok for their mistakes rather than just owning them. So while I would like to say that this business is different from the other ones and they deserve a little grace in this situation, they don't, but nobody should be being threatened because of this. These hairstylists shouldn't be threatened because of this situation. Should they be shamed? Should they be Cersei's in Game of Thrones? Maybe. Shame, shame, shame. No. I'm obviously upset that they burned off the back layer of my hair. I never wanted anyone to feel unsafe because of this. I would like to ask everyone who does know the name of the salon to please stop leaving hate comments on their social media pages. As of now, the director has apologized, issued me a refund, and said that they do not condone those kinds of practices in their salon. Thank you for everyone who feels that they are doing this on my behalf, but I'm happy. I got my hair fixed. There's no harm, no foul done. And now I even get my refund. So I feel like we can all just move on. I would love for this to be the last video that I make on this subject. I will be starting a series on TikTok where I work to repair my extremely damaged hair. And I'm really excited to share that with everyone. But like I said, this is the last video that I'm making on the subject. I don't condone anyone sending any messages to them. So if you could please stop um because stylists are feeling unsafe all right okay look i'm happy for her in the sense that look now she could suspend this viral popularity into a whole series on her page and it's gonna end up working out for this person in the end it sucks that bad things happen to good people but if you're gonna spin it and take advantage of it like this I'm not mad that this happened to you then. And you shouldn't be either. JK, I'm not telling her how she should feel. Of course she should be mad, but look at her. She seems like she's a healthy individual who is able to forgive, especially if the situation has passed and she's gotten a resolution to her problem. So that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you would have done in this situation. 
I know what I would have done, but I am really curious about what you guys would have done. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I just recently reached 500, but now we're already past 600 and let's keep going. Again, I appreciate all the nice comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you on the next one.